Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the music on one of these records inside of Minecraft Bedrock. This is version 1.16.4. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's go ahead and get to this. We'll start by switching over to the desktop and gathering the materials that we need in order to make the resource pack for this disk music change. All right, here we are at the desktop, and the first thing you need to do is to set up a new folder to build your resource pack in. I have one right here, and it's called my custom records 1.16.4. You can call it anything you want, just make a new folder to build your resource pack in. And then make sure you have your new record sound in here. Here's one that I got from the YouTube library, and it's just called Honey. So we'll be using this one, and I'll be replacing disc 13 in the game with this song right here. Now I also need to have the current vanilla resource pack. I have mine right here downloaded and then it's unzipped right there. Let me show you where you can get this. Let me just bring that up. I actually have it right in behind right here. There we go. So go to this address. It's minecraft.net forward slash en dash us forward slash add-ons. Now I have this link in the description so you can just go ahead and find that in the description and click on that to get to this page. In here just scroll down and it's just a little ways down. Get past these two pictures right here and just below those two pictures you see a little paragraph right there. And there's this link here, resource packs. That's the one you want. Click on that. This will then open this up as a download and then download this to whatever location you want to download that to. Okay, I've already taken care of that and that's what I have right here. So that's downloaded from that website. Okay, then we need just to unzip this and you get that right over here. Okay, that gives us our basic files to use. We now need to pull these files out of here and bring those over into this area here. So I'm just going to right click on this and I'll open in a new window so I can get overlapping windows. There we go. Okay, now to make this work, I'm going to just take a few things from in here. I'll grab these three files, manifest.json, packicon.png, sounds. I don't know if you actually need to have sounds or not, but there's no reason not to bring it in as well. I'll right drag and copy those over into this location. Okay, now in here, Notice we also have a few more folders up here. We have a sounds folder right here. We need a sounds folder in here. So let's go ahead and let's make one of those. So go up here to new folder and I'll just call it sounds. There we go. Now we're putting our new sound inside of this folder right here. We also need to have a texts folder right there. This is for renaming your sound. New folder and call that one texts. Okay, inside the text folder, I'm just going to open this one up and go over to our zip folder right here open up texts here, and then find your language. I'm guessing it's gonna be en underscore us lang. Just right drag that over here and copy. There we go. We'll be editing that in just a little bit. That takes care of that. Just back up one step here, and we'll back up one step here as well. Okay, if we go over here to the complete resource pack, notice in here we don't have anything in here for music. You need to make those folders for this. That's not included in the resource pack. We have to actually make those. Let me bring up a text file and I'll show you what this should be. Here we go. This is the folder structure that we need and also there is the name of the record that we'll be replacing right there. So let's go ahead and do this. I'll just go back to this folder here. I'll, I'll set this so I can actually see that. There we go. Go into sounds and let's make a new folder. We need a new one here for music. There we go. Let's open that one up and we need a new folder for game. There we go. Let's open this one up and then a new folder in here for records. And there we go. We'll be putting our new record right inside here. We'll be calling it 13, and we'll be converting that to the .og format. Okay, so our folder structure is all set up. That's all taken care of. Let's go back here to our working folder location. We need to adjust the manifest.json file right here. I have mine opening up in Notepad, and which works out fine. You can do this by right-clicking, come down to Open With right here, and in here, if you want this to always open up in Notepad, just click on Always Use This App, click on More Apps, and then find Notepad in the list. I've already done that, and mine's right up there. Mine always opens up in Notepad. Here we go. Now in here, just a couple of things need to be taken care of. Notice we have two sections, Header up here and Modules right there. In the header, we have a description. Let's go ahead and we'll change this description. I'll call this custom records 1.16.4. Let 
We can then copy that. Make sure that you leave those two quotation marks at the two sides of that. I'll copy and I'll just paste that right down here and paste. There's a name down here. This can actually be the same thing if you want to. I'm just going to call mine Records Resource Pack. There it is, Records Resource Pack. That's fine. And then we have this UUID thing. Now there are two of these. There's one right here and there's one right down here. And these are special codes, so we can't just make the number up. We have to actually use a special code for this to work. And these are different. Look at these, these are actually different numbers. We need to have two of these codes. Now, luckily, this is easy to get. I have another website for that, and that's right here. It's called uuidgenerator.net. And again, I'll put this link in the description, so you can just go ahead and click on that and get right to this page. And here is the UUID. I'm just gonna click on Refresh, so I get a brand new fresh one. There we go. Copy that back to our text file and let's paste that right over here. Again, make sure that you don't lose your quotation marks outside of that. That's very important. Okay, here's our first one. Let's go back in here. Let's refresh the page again and copy and let's change that second one and right click and paste. Now all this stuff does, this is really just like a license plate for this resource pack. It just has to have its own license plates so that Minecraft knows what it is and knows that it's different from other ones. That's all we're doing here, nothing special. Okay, go ahead, we'll file save, that's done. And we're done with this. Okay, and we're also all done with the basic resource pack except for converting our sound file over to the .ogg or .og format. Let's just get rid of our other stuff here, get that out of the way, we're done with that. So I like using a program called Audacity. It's a free download. It's a great sound editor. It's very feature rich for a free program. It's amazing actually what, what this program can do. I personally don't like using online apps. I've had a lot of problems with online apps. So I like to download Audacity and use that. Okay, let me bring up Audacity. We'll take care of this quick fix. Okay, here's the Audacity program. Let me just close that. Now, if you don't have Audacity, let me bring up a web page where you can get this free download. There we go, it's audacityteam.org and it's their download page. They have downloads for Windows, Mac, and also for Linux. Just choose your version and download that. It gets real fast download and it's completely free. Okay, back to our program. I'm just gonna put this right here just for a second. Let's bring this window up here and I'll take this file. I'm just gonna drag it right over there and drop it in. And we'll then copy this into the Audacity program. There we go. Now notice that this is a stereo track. Same thing, doesn't make any difference if it's mono or stereo or bedrock. Okay, let's go ahead now and convert this over to the .og format, and that's file. Come down to export, and export as .og right there. And here we are inside the same folder as the MP3 file. So I'm going to go into the sounds folder, and then inside of music, inside of game, and inside of records right there. And we'll just save it at that location. She's okay. Just takes a moment here. It's a pretty short sound file. This will go in pretty fast. There we go. And now we're all done with the Audacity program. Let's close that out. Not going to bother saving that. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at that. Make sure it has worked into sounds, into music, into game, and into records. And here we go. Let me just change this to large icons. There it is. Okay, now we need to change the name of this file over to 13. Since that's the record we're replacing, this has to say 13 on it. So I'm just going to do a name change here and we'll call that 13. There we go. Okay, that's all taken care of. Let's now back up, back to our working folder right here. Let's now go inside of texts and let's open up that language file right here. Again, I have this one set to open up in Notepad. Same trick as I showed you before for the manifest. Now in here, there's a certain file we want to find. Let's do just a little search here for this. Now we're looking for record 13. So let's go up to edit, come down to find, and just put in 13 right here, and find next. Now you may need to go through just a few of these because there are some other 13s in here. So I'm just going to go down and there we go. Right there, that's one we want. Okay, what this is right here is the description of 13, or in other words, the name. There it goes, description. This is what shows up in the game right now. So let's change this to say honey. That's the one that I'm using, so we're doing honey. Okay, we're all set now on that one and we now have the proper name for this in the game. File save, and that's taken care of. Okay, back to our working folder. So everything is done now. 
Now, if you want to, you can change the pack icon PNG to a different graphic. It's up to you. This is a 256 by 256 PNG file, just a square PNG file. It can be any picture you want. I'll leave it at the default for right now, though. Okay, we need to zip this stuff up. So I'm going to click on sounds. I'll hold the control key down, choose texts, the manifest, the pack. I can also grab the sounds JSON right here. And let's go up to share and zip. This is then put all this stuff into a zip file. Here it is. I'm just going to call this one custom records. So it's a custom records zip. Now, if you don't see that dot zip on there, this is very important. You need to see that dot zip. If you're not seeing that, go up to view. And then over here, make sure that you have a check mark right here next to file name extensions. Okay, that's fine. Let's now just change that zip. Just click slowly a couple times or right click and choose rename. And it's renaming this MC pack. It's still a zip file. Don't worry about this. Just choose yes on that warning. And you should see the Minecraft icon right there as soon as you do that. All right, we're all set now to install this in the game. Now make sure that your game is not running when you do this. If it's running, close the game down and then double click on your new MC pack. This will then launch the game and import that new resource pack into the game. It will then test it out and make sure that it's playing properly. Okay, now we should see import showing up. There we go, import started. And let's make sure it imports properly. Give it just a moment, it should go pretty fast. There we go, successfully imported and that's all set to go. Okay, let's come down to settings now and we need to activate this resource pack now that it has been imported. So I'll scroll down a little bit and here's our global resources. We should see it down here in my packs. Let's open this one up. There we go. There's the name that we gave it right here. Let's click on that, choose activate. And it should now be showing up here in the active section. There it is. We're all set to go. Okay, let's go back to our main screen. It's going to now load in that resource pack. We can now play the game and we should be able to hear that new record. Again, we're playing record 13. That's one that has that yellow label on it. And we'll play our coastal village right here. Okay, here we are inside the game. Let's make sure we see that. There we go. Again, it's one with the yellow label. Let's now turn around and we'll drop this in and see how this sounds. Notice that now says, now playing honey. And that's working fine. We bring it back out again. Drop it in again. Now, as soon as I drop it in, you'll see the name. There it is, now playing Honey, so we've changed the name. And that's playing just fine in the game. So there we go. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also make sure to click on share and subscribe. And check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.